Hey guys, it's Ingrid Anna, and this is my trainer Lucas. Good he has morning. to put up with me. <laughs> morning. He's like, "What? You're going live?" But he's yeah, got. You need used... to talk to an agent before. So <laughs> you need to some... talk to your agent before yeah, you make you famous. Contractual issues. We'll give you ten percent. Uh, at least we can at discuss that. At least ten percent. Okay, sure. Now, guys, I barely do. I don't do much many lives here. Hey, gorgeous Anna. I was just introducing. Hey, Monique. Monique, hey, gave, Monique. Monique gave me a testimonial today and um, I was a bit emotional because she's one of my first divine African-American beauties who's given me, be careful right. that you don't trip, a testimonial via video for many reasons which I do understand. But I just want to thank you, Monique, for being gracious enough to share some of your experience of working with me. I was emotional. I had a good cry. <laughs> hey, gorgeous lady. So today um, I'm going to do a short video, but I don't really do a lot of videos on my page here. I did one on the shedding process that I haven't put up on my personal page. It's in my private group about shedding and ascension and making more money and how to really hold space for yourself during your transformation because we're always transforming. We're always going through a death and rebirth cycle and how to learn to develop, thank you Monique, a deep level of emotional IQ and love and respect and honoring of the process of ascension. And often, hey, Ashley, hey, gorgeous woman, we are taught to kind of deny it and that we're broken and that we need to be fixed. Hey, Liz, hey, Jody, that we need to be fixed when we feel the emotion. And I was talking a lot about really honoring it and feeling safe in it so that you can actually, hey gorgeous Liz, I'll be seeing you later. Yes, so that you can ascend with a lot more ease, a lot more grace, a lot more faith, a lot more trust. Yes, yes, yes. So, quick little post today about the world needing your divine, sacred, unique medicine, your magic, your message your movement. As a conscious healer, light worker, business strategist, visionary, whatever genre you're in, we are in the business of ascension. We're in the business of supporting others to get what they want. We're here to solve problems. We're here to hold space for all those emotions that come up. <laughs> yes, I'm working my booty off. <laughs> I was meant to go and have a partial hysterectomy in about a week. So I'm trying to get myself all healthy, but I'm um, gonna hold off a few more weeks until after the school holidays and slow down a bit. But um, I'm doing more healing on my own self, on my womb. So the world needs your medicine. It is so important to be a woman, and I'm gonna explain this, and it might at first trigger you, and I always do that on purpose. <laughs> because triggering, shows us, I'm going to give you one, yeah. triggering shows us where we get tripped up, right? Triggering, oh thank you Ashley, yeah, hey gorgeous Jonathan, so triggering shows us where we get tripped up, so rather than running away from that emotion, I like to see it and say, oh what am I, what do I want, what am I wanting, why, what's the, hey gorgeous Scarlett, What's the goal, you know, what's the fear? What's the, what's the anger? What's the resentment? Why am I triggered? And then learn from it with grace, right? So that you can ascend. So I'm gonna <laughs> get you tripped up. Yes, Ashley's saying, bring it on. So you need to be full of yourself. You need to be full, full, full of yourself. So many women are taught to deny it. Don't own your power. What if someone else feels powerless in your power? Why don't you dim your light? Oh, and you're pretty and smart. How dare you? Don't be too sexy. Don't like, don't act like you know too much. And certainly don't honor, like someone don't honor the power of your work. Don't share it too much. You might look like you're full of yourself. So my message today is, be full, full of not ego, full of your own divinity, full of your expression, full of your voice, full of your love, full of your ability, which what you're doing as a beautiful healer, okay. mystic, business coach, whatever you are, your action 
is to invite people in. So you're literally extending your hand. You're extending your heart. Hey, Carmen, you're extending literally your energetic field. So when you don't really own your work without ego, with oneness, but not diminishing yourself, not rejecting, unconsciously rejecting, <sighs> your own presence, your own divinity, your own beauty, your own power, right? Because what we're doing, if you look at it from an energetic level, if we wanna go into the quantum realm, what you're actually doing is you're gonna attract everything kind of that you don't want to some degree, which is this sense of people who don't really see you because you're not seeing fully and owning and sharing yourself. Ah, uh, if you have an openness in your heart and you literally vibrate with this sense of love and community and it's flowing over from a place of fullness because you're not broken, <laughs> you've decided to claim it and own it and honor it and you start asking yourself questions like, well, who do I need to be? And what do I need to show up? And who am I at my highest? And what is she speaking about? And what does my audience need to hear? You are in a powerful vibration of divine service. It's not about whether you think you're good enough, <sighs> which is a waste of time because your divine birthright is that you are good enough. Do you understand what I'm saying? I see so many women literally uh, stifled and crushed, poisoned by the constant question of, am I good enough? Stop asking yourself that. Stop, okay? I'm getting passionate now. Okay, is it intense enough for you? Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you feel me? Can you feel, hey, Anthea? Can you feel what I'm saying? So, let me see if I can wave at you. So, I want you to take some time today to connect with your higher self and ask, what is my fullness? What is the fullest expression of my message? What is the fullest expression of my work? What is the fullest expression of my service? What is the fullest expression of my love? Who is that woman? Because that's exactly who you need to embody. If you want to be a leader, if you want to be a leader of the light, then come into the light. Stop diminishing your life. Some people won't get it at the beginning. But what I have done for myself is I've given myself the permission because I have crushed myself, because I have poisoned myself. You know what? And all it did is make me sick financially, spiritually, and emotionally, and physically. Literally sick. Like sick, sick, sick. Because I was carrying this sickness that wasn't even my own. And then we make it our own because we carry all the social family conditioning that really doesn't belong to us. And often we do it unconsciously. So I was writing a post about becoming consciously rich, not unconsciously poor. And I'm not just talking about finances because usually typically you'll be poor energetically, right? It's an energetic poverty that creates a financial struggle, right? You could even be at a few hundred thousand dollars a year. You could even be at a million. But if there's, there will always usually be for the next level, a level of healing. You know, for me, when I got to my first million, then two million even, there were still these deeper levels, and I'm still working on it, of allowing in a better team, allowing myself to be supported, um, allowing myself to be held, um, making sure that I attract what I call, and I want to share this with you, this is juicy, the cream. I want the cream. I don't want the milk. <laughs> I want the cream. And say, so you can command that now. I want the cream. I'm commanding cream in my life. It sounds a bit off, but you know what I mean. Like the, it's like the caviar, the cream, the, the best. Clients, relationships, people that are so beautiful and loving and kind and willing to do the work. Doesn't mean that they don't fall over sometimes. Doesn't mean we don't get challenged. That's part of the journey but they keep going and going and hey, Twanda, gorgeous, hey, Ashley. Energetic poverty, yep. Yeah, so I release energetic poverty now and command divine riches into my life. I release energetic, energetic poverty now. I allow myself 
to be full, to be overflowing, to be abundant, to give myself permission to shine my golden divine light. And in doing so, I attract unlimited divine, sacred, holy riches. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you gonna say it? Thank you. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Okay, did you enjoy that? Yeah, I like it. He likes it, good. Okay guys, I'm sending you so much love. A million divine blessings. I have probably made quite a lot of money over the last five or six days. Hey Kerry, and you know, it's not some greedy, scungy, hey gorgeous yeah. Liz, desperate, oh my God, I made so much money. Sometimes when people pay me, I cry. Hey Fleur, I have a beautiful woman that just signed up with me today. She's been watching me for a while and kind of pulled back. It wasn't the right time for her. It is now the right time and I energetically felt her today. So I reached out for her, to her and it's like, boom, we are ready. We are ready to partner together in co-creation. And I love it. I get so, hey, Deborah, I haven't seen you in ages. Hey, gorgeous. I get so, I'm so excited because I know that she's just made a choice, such a powerful choice for herself. And I know because I've been teaching this work for a very long time now, um, I know my craft, right? I know my stuff. So, hey, Joe, be in contact with you today about that, about that chat, you know? So I'm so excited because I almost see like a movie, the transformation that she's about to receive. So it's always about the divine transformation and then also I then will command divine compensation for my work. As long as the work that you do meets the promise and everyone then is in a responsible position, an ethical position to do what is necessary. Hey, gorgeous Joe, I haven't forgotten you. Guys, I've got to walk up this hill now. I'm going to have to say goodbye. Look at that. It is a lot steeper than it looks on video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, gorgeous Tori. Tori's one of my divine coaches. She's amazing. She's a beautiful alchemist. Okay, so when I walk up this hill, I'm sending you so much love. Um, bless, bless, bless. I'll put up a link today um, for my group, my free group. And I will also, um, Tori, can you message Megan and ask her to put up in this post? A link to my free group and also bossdivastrategy.com if you want to get on a call with one of my strategists absolutely do it because it's gonna be juicy and then you can make a decision about whether you want to work with us or not there's no pressure I am going to raise my diva mind um, prices so hey gorgeous Anthea if you've been watching me and hesitating don't hesitate get on a call ask lots of questions see if it's right for you and um, then decide. Okay, blessings, Mwah. kisses. Have a great day, Fleur. Speak to you soon. Fleur's also on my team. My team is growing. I've got so many amazing divas. Yes, yes, yes. Mwah. Kisses, bye.